kick your season off by starting your first game. Emotion is grand. On first down, Tannehill. And Cameron has it over the middle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really <laughs> nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. In motion is Grant. Here's Tannehill now on second down. Incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. And a sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Tannehill, and he's got him. It's the tight end Cameron. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Oftentimes, we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Now a first down throw, Tannehill finding time. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll be a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Throwing again is Tannehill. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the all pro free safety, Earl Thomas. And they are going to set up sharp at the... Hauschka now to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And this will be a touchback, so a first chance here in week one to see the ball be brought out with the new rule to the 25-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drop. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. In motion is Grant. Here's Tannehill. And he floats one there incomplete. Third down, Tannehill. It's complete to Grant. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Zebra, zebra, On first and 10, Tannehill. And Cameron has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Second down now after the pass completion. 
All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. And maybe a little of both. In motion is Grant. To throw is Tannehill. No, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. Well, he just threw an interception last drive. Nearly another pair. And things aren't very even right now, are they? It's a little bit sloppy out there, isn't it? It's kind of difficult driving on those paved roads and those country roads that have those potholes in them, isn't it? Because that's the way this game's going right now. A lot of bouncy bounce to it. You spent some time on some Tennessee country roads. I certainly have. Plenty of family back there. God love it. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty... On first down, it's Tannehill. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. On second and ten, Tannehill. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So the offense has it first and 10. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. In that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. More now. No, oh, he almost had it. just missing his second there. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. Here's Jarvis Landry now on the return. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Then the Dolphins getting set to go here. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now more. This is intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. Here's Landry. And he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line out comes the Miami offensive unit now they get set to take over and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window I think you are I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go ah totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all still want to attack we'll see how they attack him here they'll look to throw they dump off underneath to a J. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Dolphins are going to get a fresh set of downs. Go get him, go get him. 
They'll look to throw here on first down. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got ripped. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And to the fourth. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. And out come the Dolphins now. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones... They find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah, can he put it aside? Let's find out. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. They'll look to throw. Brought in over the middle by Glenn. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They come up in an offset eye. In motion is Grant. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And he brings it back to right around it. They go back to the air here after the INT. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but he gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. On play action, they'll throw. Try to lay one up deep. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the all-pro free safety, Earl Thomas. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. They go back to the air here after the eye. And, and now here is another interception. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And he's going to take this one back to the 37. shake off the interception he'll look to throw and he just gets rid of it throws it away the wise move there looked like nobody open now second down in motion is grant now more and he comes back with one complete 
Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And the offense moving quickly to the line. More now. And he's got him. It's the tight end Cameron. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. No, I know no, the no, halftime's no, approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his quick catch. Yeah, they've really now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll look to throw again, and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. They're going to look to throw. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And with a new rule, that decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he only gets to the 20. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. And my goodness, another interception. A great read, and it's picked off. And he will take this across.